Live from BC Children's Hospital in Vancouver, it's the 28th Annual Miracle Weekend. Yes, and welcome. We are live from BC Children's Hospital for the 28th Annual Miracle Weekend. We're here this evening and all day tomorrow at the hospital, which serves close to a million children living in BC and the Yukon. And I get to hang out with you guys on Saturday night. What could be better? <laughs> I'm so excited. Like our old days. It is, isn't it? <laughs> we'll show you stories about the amazing kids who've been at this hospital and the caregivers who help them. We'll also show you how your donations are used to fund the equipment and research that save kids' lives. I'm here with the Horseman family. Tim, thanks so much for being here. Thank you very much for having us. It's our pleasure. Beautiful, adorable children, all dressed up and very happy to be a part of this today. Why do you guys get involved? You know, we've been doing this since 1992 and it's uh, uh, for just the families around the province. Uh, you know, we've got our own children, but every year we get touched by someone in the province that needs Children's Hospital and, and uh, with 21 locations and just the families in, in the company. All right, so how did you guys raise the money? Well, you know, over the years, it's really turned into uh, micro ambassadors throughout the company. By engaging our employees, everyone really just grabs a hold of Children's Hospital and uh, they do it for the kids. And every year, there's just hundreds of activities that go on. Very good. All right, how much money are you bringing this year? Wow. $50,000. Wow, thank you all so much. Congratulations. Thanks, girls. Uh, this is Roger Steers, and Roger, uh, I believe we did this last year together, yes, didn't we? We did. Nice to meet you. Tell me a bit about uh, your group and, uh, and how you raised money this year. Well, we, <clears throat> we represent the development real estate community. It's uh, BC's leading development, real estate, construction, architecture, engineering firms all teaming up to support uh, Children's Hospital. And uh, on a personal note, of course, uh, tell me a bit about uh, the scenario uh, over the last few years and, and how this is so special to you. Well, for us, um, we, our daughter was a patient here in 1999. She was diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia, um, was an inpatient for 11 months, and ultimately in 2000, she passed away. Well, I'm, again, uh, that's, that's been a tough time, and you've been here supporting uh, for years now, and you have a special way to let this, uh, let this out. So I'll let you take it from here. I, I don't want to botch the revealing of this amount, because I know it's a very generous amount. I, I, I'll let you take it. Okay, so starting from the other end. Zero, four, zero, zero, three, one. Whoa! <laughs> Over $1,300,000 from the Development and Real Estate Division, Roger Steers and Brooke, thank you very, very much. Thank you, Mark. All right. Building is fun, and building also helps BC Children's Hospital. In fact, the Development and Real Estate Fundraising Division raises more than a million dollars each year for the hospital. Province-wide support comes from the Remax Miracle Home Program and from the Building for Kids Program, which holds events such as its charity Golf Classic. Thank you to the Development and Real Estate Fundraising Division. I want people to understand what it means to be the only children's hospital in British Columbia, and I've said this before, is that we have to do it all and we have to be the best. We don't have an option. My name is Maya. I love Gilgit Hospital. <laughs> well, you love it because it has become a second home to us. The thing that is surprising to me is, although he doesn't quite understand his illness, he's so familiar with um, the idea of a hospital that when we go to the grocery store, he asked the cashier if they're doctors because they're in uniform. So he assumes that um, the hospital is everywhere. And I'm happy that he is so comfortable with the hospital that he doesn't fear it. It saddens me though that that's his reality. BC Children's Hospital saved my life. Children's is where Jack was born. It was where he was saved, and it's where he will be raised. We're here one to two times a week. This is a home for him. It's a home away from home. 
and we're very lucky to have it. When I grow up, I want to be a, a nurse at BC Children's Hospital. It's an unbelievable collaborative environment, so I feel very lucky. I actually feel very privileged, and there's many days where I feel I lucked out because I've got the best job in the world. Oscar still loves to come to BC Children's even after two bouts of cancer, and I think it's because it's not a depressing place to, to be. It's full of light, it's full of love, and it's full of hope. So thank you very much to, for everyone who's donating to Children's Hospital and supporting us. So kids like me who had cancer, so, thank you very much to all of you. An incredible moment this is, the energy in this room, if you could feel it. Miracle weekend coming to a close, and what an amazing weekend mm -hmm. it has been. All right, we gotta check out the big total. Time to check it out. Okay, just so uh, everyone, we're ready to shout out those yep. numbers. Are we ready? We're ready. Let's yeah. do it. Ready. Good. Thank you, BC. One. One. Six. Columbia, that was absolutely amazing. We could not have done this without your help. Thanks very much, Gemma, Brooke, Deb, Mark, Ted, and everybody else. See you next year. Thank you. Lost in their play through grateful eyes, you can hear them say. Someday what happens for you And peace comes to you from above Miracles happen with love Miracles happen with love And with help from the angel and all of us Miracles happen, oh yes they do Here's open someday what happens for you and peace comes to you from above.